Have you ever pondered what prosperity might look like if Indonesia's mineral wealth were managed by Indonesians? Let's take a moment to consider the vast copper and gold mine that's currently under the stewardship of PT, Freeport, Indonesia. This mine site, a beacon of wealth beneath the earth has been a significant economic pivot for Indonesia, contributing greatly to the nation's GDP. Yet, the relationship between PT, Freeport and Indonesia has been a complex dance of politics and economics. From the early days of the Suharto regime to the present, the tale of PT. Freeport in Indonesia has been a twisting narrative of profit, environmental impact and national sovereignty. But let's pause and envision a different story. Picture the mine site, not as a distant entity managed by an international corporation, but as a resource in the hands of the very people who call this land home. Imagine a different scenario. A scenario where the mine is managed by Indonesians, what could that look like? In a world where the mine site is managed by Indonesians, the picture could be vastly different. Imagine if you will, a scenario where the mineral wealth beneath the archipelago is unlocked by the very people who call this land home. It's a tantalizing thought, isn't it? Let's take a moment to explore the possibilities. An Indonesian-run mine could lead to significant economic growth. The revenues generated from the mining operations could be reinvested into the nation's economy, promoting the development of infrastructure, healthcare, and education. It could fuel the rise of new industries, offering a myriad of opportunities for both entrepreneurs and job seekers alike. It's not just about enriching the nation's coffers but about creating a more prosperous and sustainable future for all Indonesians. But let's not forget about the local communities. With the mines under local management, there's the potential for community development on an unprecedented scale. This could mean better schools, improved healthcare facilities and more job opportunities right at their doorstep. It's about empowering these communities to shape their own destinies. However, this rosy picture isn't without its thorns. Managing a mine is a complex undertaking with significant environmental and social implications. There's the challenge of ensuring sustainable mining practices to protect the environment. And then there's the social impact, ensuring that the benefits of the mining operations are evenly distributed and that the rights of local communities are respected. But these challenges aren't insurmountable. With sound policies and effective management, they can be mitigated. It would require a delicate balancing act, but with the right commitment and approach, it's doable. And who knows, perhaps along the way we might even stumble upon a few gold nuggets of wisdom. After all, they say that in every mountain of dirt there's a grain of gold waiting to be discovered. It's a bold vision filled with potential and pitfalls, but it's a vision that's worth considering. So, we've journeyed through a hypothetical scenario explored potential prosperity and pitfalls, now let's take a step back and reflect. We've imagined a world where the mines managed by PT, Freeport Indonesia were in the hands of Indonesians. We've envisioned the economic boom it could bring, the jobs it could create, and the communities it could uplift. But we've also acknowledged the environmental and social challenges that come with it. The economic benefits could be enormous, potentially transforming Indonesia into a more prosperous nation. But this prosperity should not come at the expense of our environment or our people. Responsible management is key to ensure that the wealth derived from these mines benefits all Indonesians. And let's not forget the punchline of our little journey. Even if every grain of sand were a diamond, it would still be a pain to get it out of your shoes. While we can only speculate, it's clear that Indonesian management of its mineral wealth could bring a new wave of prosperity. The question is, are we ready to ride that wave?